Okay, welcome to the second lecture. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, first a bit about orientations, then uh, Poincare duality. Uh, in the process, I'm going to implicitly be talking about local coefficients. I'll uh, explain a little bit about those, and then in the final section, I will uh, return to um, kind of things that are more similar to the first lecture in looking at the handled chain complex, but this time with uh, z pi one coefficients. We'll talk about threaded handles. Um, so in the case where we we don't have a simply connected cobordism anymore. So um, why is Poincaré duality uh, useful? Um, well, not useful. Why is it of interest to us uh, when we're talking about surgery theory? Well, <laughs> let's. Uh, Let's let's explain a little bit why this is. So um, the algebraic effect of uh, geometric surgery um, on an m-dimensional manifold M uh, is determined by Poincaré duality. isomorphisms. So from M minus star cohomology of M to star homology of M. And Poincaré duality uh, is a local ex a global expression of uh, the local property of being a manifold. Uh, so namely, So we, we know that a manifold is locally homeomorphic to Rm uh, if it's m-dimensional. And we can express this in terms of homology uh, in that if we look at the cohomology uh, of a point, of any point in our manifold, look at m minus star cohomology, this should be isomorphic for all x in m to the homology of the manifold uh, relative to everything outside of this point. So if you think of each uh, n small neighborhood of your manifold, of the point in your manifold, this is locally homeomorphic to Rm. If you think about a little disk uh, and you're crushing the boundary of the disk, this gives you a, a homology sphere. And this is roughly what this uh, local isomorphism is saying. Um, at each point, if you crush everything outside the point, you have a homology sphere. Um, and we would like to, to piece these local isomorphisms together. So to piece these. And in order to do this, we require or orientability. This leads us to the first section on orientations and Poincaré duality. Define a local uh, orientation of our manifold M at a point X uh, is a choice of generator for this local relative homology group. Uh, 
um, and I'm going to be denoting generators as mu sub x. Um, This is homology with Z coefficients. Um, and we know that this is, because M is a ma manifold, we know this is um, by excision the same as homology of Rm, rel, Rm minus the origin. And we know this is just a copy of the integers. So this generator is just plus or minus 1 in this homology group. And this is, a, this is a local orientation. We've got one of these generators for each point of our manifold. And so a, a global, in brackets, or just an orientation, global orientation, um, of M. is a consistent choice of generators for all points x, consistent in uh, the following sense. Um, so it has to satisfy a local consistency condition. that condition being, um, so around any point in our manifold, there exists an open ball, say B, containing X, um, of finite radius. Uh, such that, There is a generator mu sub b in um, homology of m relative to m minus this b. Which again is going to be z by excision. Um, and this generator should map to our choice of generator for all points in B. So it should map to mu y, where y is our, um, well, our choice of generator, for all y in this ball around x, uh, just under the, the natural map. Now, if we can find a consistent choice of generators, then we say that M is orientable. Now, <clears throat> if we take any manifold M, there exists uh, an orientable two-sheet covering in the orientation double cover of M. So every manifold M has an orientable two-sheeted cover. Um, which I'm going to suggestively denote as uh, M sub Z mod 2. Um, and let me explain how we, we get this double cover. Well, this space is going to be 
the collection of all local orientations, mu x, um, for all points x in M, and mu x a generator of this uh, local relative homology group generator. Yeah, or, well, a local orientation. And um, so this is clearly a double cover, because over each point x, we have plus or minus 1 in this local homology group. So clearly a double cover. Um, and we'd like to show that we can topologize this space. And we do this uh, as follows, um, effectively using these, these open balls B and these, uh, these generators mu sub B. Um, so given such a ball uh, B containing X uh, as above, and this class mu B generating HM of M rel M minus B. Um, we have a corresponding open set. In the double cover. I'm going to call this just uh, U of mu B. Um, and this is, it's just the set of all these local orientations, mu x, um, considered as points in this covering space, uh, such that x is in the ball B, and, um, well, mu B maps to mu x under this canonical map. So um, you should think of these open sets as just little um, open balls in either of the two sheets of the covering space. So if you had, um, if you had a Merbius band like this and you have a double cover, Let's see. Then one of these open sets is going to be, say, a, an open set here or here on one of the sheets. And this gives a, a topology to the covering space. And um, it's easy to see this should be orientable to see this is orientable okay this leads to uh, define the orientation character so if M is connected we define the orientation character as follows. Um, and this is also called the orientation character or the first Stiefel Whitney class. Um, and this is a homomorphism from the fundamental group of M to plus or minus 1, which we're thinking of as the automorphisms of Z uh, 